guys welcome to DTW GED prep welcome okay so in today's video I'm going to be taking you through, uh, you through division of whole numbers okay I've earlier done addition subtraction multiplication and now finally division of whole numbers okay before we get on get before we get on to decimal numbers all right so if this is your first time on this channel please please click the subscribe button support us to grow we're quite a new channel and we're here to support you in getting your GED math tests right okay all right so we're here to help you support you in your GED test all right so please click the subscribe button notification bell and share please this channel with your friends family loved ones on any group trying to get their GED and give this video a thumbs up all right and uh on it, let's dive into the video now and also don't forget please maybe after the video you can check the video description box of uh the link to a facebook group you can join to get um motivated for your test and see other people's um you know testimonials on how they did their gd test and some tips from them on questions that um uh they saw in their their own test okay which is really really going to help you too all right so let's get on to the class now which is um division so What's division? You know, division is just finding out how many equal parts an amount can be divided into. Okay, so let's say you have we have this, we are told to divide 207, okay, uh, by 9. All right, so here in division, um, you know, there's a pattern which um, it's been um, drawn in maths. Okay, so you have this. You put your 207 inside and you put your 9 out, okay? Your 9 will stay here. Your 207 will be inside the box here, all right? Where this 207 here is called what? The dividend, okay? 9 is called the divisor. And whatever we get here, our answer here is called the quotient, okay? I'm, I'm, when we get it, I'm, I'm going to also um, say it again. It's called the quotient, and whatever, if we have a re, uh, something remaining, it's called what the remainder. Okay, so um, let's divide it. So we have nine, uh, 207 divided by nine. So we we'll have our nine here, our 207 in the in the box here. So first of all, you say, can nine go in two? No, it cannot. We increase it. Can nine go in 20? Okay, follow me with the steps of division. Can 9 go in 20? Yes, it can. How many times can 9 go in 20? It can just go only two times. Now, what will help you in division is your multiplication times table. I've, I always say this to um, students prepping for the math, math, uh, GED master, um, math test. You need to know your multiplication times table by heart. It's very key in maths. Okay, almost all questions require that knowledge. Please, you need to know it, please. So, uh, so it's two times. So, and what's two times nine? Two times nine is 18. Put the 18 right under this 20. Okay, don't put the 18 under uh, zero and seven. No, put it right under 20. So, and we subtract. Okay, you drop down your seven here. Uh, can we subtract 8 from 0? No, we have to borrow a 1. In borrowing this 1, this becomes 10. 10 minus 8 will give us what? A 2. And if you want to learn how to subtraction and borrowing, um, there's a video also I've done. I think I'll leave the link in the video description box. Okay, but you can just check through the channel. You'll see that, but I'll still leave the link for subtraction if you have um, difficulty subtracting. Okay, so we have 27. Now, the next thing. So when we've um, subtracted, and what's left here is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So nothing here. You don't need to write down the 0. So just leave it. Okay? So the next thing you now say, 9, how many times can 9 go in 27? It can go 3 times. Okay? So we write down 3 beside our 2 here. And we now say 3 times 9 is what? 27. Okay? And we'll subtract this. We put down the 27 under 27 and in subtracting 27 from 27 we'll get a zero so here our remainder here is what a zero okay and our quotient here is what 23 that's our answer is 23 and what your your uh you know what the amount being divided by is called your dividend while uh, what you you are dividing by is called your word divisor okay so let's do one more we're going to do several examples so you understand um, division properly 
So let's say we have this here, and we're told to divide. Uh, let's do some. Let's do this three nine nine, and what? Uh, should we do this? Okay, and nineteen. Okay, now we have nineteen. Now can nineteen go in three? No, it cannot. Can nineteen go in thirty nine? Yes, it can. How many times can it go? It can go just two times. Okay, so. Uh, you can see the way I went fast with this because I know my times table, okay? But if you don't, please try to learn it, okay? So 2 times 19 will give us what 38. You put down the 38 right under what 39 and we subtract. We drop this 9 here since there's nothing here to subtract, okay? Then 9 minus 8 will give us what? A 1. Here 3 minus 3 is a 0, so we'll leave this out. Now we say 19 and 19 will give us what? A 1. Okay? And 1 times this 19 here will be in 19. And we we'll subtract this 19 minus 19 is what? A 0. So the remainder here is a 0. Alright? So let's do one uh, another one. So let's say we have this 7, 5, 6 and 7. Here, can 7, the first thing you say, can 7 go in 7? Yes, it can go in 7. And we drop down 1. And we say 1 times 7 we put it directly under 7, all right? And we'll put our negative sign here. So here, we have here a 7 minus 7 is what? A 0. So we drop down our next number, which is 5, okay? We just drop down 5. Remember, in our division, we drop down the numbers one after the other. So the next number after what you've been able to divide by, you drop it down. Don't worry, you'll see um, another example where we, we're going to drop several numbers down. All right, just hold on. Okay, so we drop down five. Can seven go in five? No, it cannot. What do we do? We write down what? A zero. Okay, and zero times seven will give us what? A zero. So we do this, we subtract. 5 minus 0 is what? A 5. And we'll drop down the 6 here. So we have a 6 here. Now, can 7 go in 56? Yes, it can go. How many times? It can go 8 times. So we drop uh, 8 here. And 8 times 7 is what? 56. And when you subtract this, we're going to have what? A 0. So our remainder here is a 0. Our quotient is what? 108. Now, let's do something tougher. So let's say we have... Okay, I, like, I would like to use here. Okay. We have 1006 um, divided by what? 6. Okay. So we have this 1006 divided by 6. So here, can uh, 6 go in 1? It cannot. Can 6 go in 10? Yes, it can go. How many times? Just 1 times. And 1 times 6 will give us what? A 6. So we drop our 6 down here. All right, and ne negative. All right, so so our six will be under this zero here. All right, so uh, to subtract this is just like saying subtracting six from ten. All right, so we have here to subtract. Can we subtract six from zero? No, we have to borrow that one, which is a ten, which is the same thing as saying ten minus six. Okay, so uh, uh, ten minus six is what a four. We we'll drop down this zero here. Now, how many times will 6 go in 40? It's going to go about 6 times. So we have 6, and 6 times 6 will give us what? 36. So we subtract this. Uh, can we take away 6 from 0? No. We have to borrow a 1 here, and uh, 10 minus 6 is equal to what? 4. It's just like also saying 40 minus 36. But you know, subtraction. The normal standard way in math, I have to explain it, okay, so you understand it. So we have our 4 here, and we'll drop down our next value, which is what, 6. Can you see the way we're dropping down one step at a time? All right, so 6 in 46, how many times is it going to go? I think it's going to go about 7 times, so we have a 7. So 7 times 6 will give us, what, 42. So here... We have, in subtracting 6 minus 2 here, we give us what? A 4. And this is 4 minus 4, which is what? A 0. Okay, you can see this the division here, we have a remainder. We can choose to stop here, but some sometimes, you know, in your exams, you have some decimal points and, and some other numbers after the decimal point. So let's let's try to further um, divide this. Let me just show you what, what can happen if we want to get several numbers after a decimal point. Now here, 
we've gotten here as a remainder if we want to go further we say can six go in four no it cannot go in four all right so now here you as it can go in four you put and you as it can go in four and there's nothing else to drop down you can see we've already exhausted our numbers we this is the last number we drop down here as 46 there's nothing else to drop down so you now add a decimal point in here since it can't go in four you remember here uh seven could not go in five we put a zero because we had a number to drop down that's why we put a zero here now for here we don't have any other number to put down so we'll put a dot and add a zero to 40 to this four to make what 40 all right so uh we now say six in 40 how many times will it, will it go it's going to go six times so we have six and six times six will give us what 36 and what do we have here when we subtract this uh, borrow a one here we have a four okay can six go in 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 four no we drop down a zero you don't need to put another decimal point so from now on after you've put the decimal point if you want to still continuously um divide to get uh, more results up here you just keep on adding a zero okay so here we have uh six in 40 we have it will go uh, how many times will six go in 40 to go six times and six times this six is what 36 if you if you subtract this you're still going to get a four you drop down a zero and so on and so on you can see this is a recurring and decimal so we are going to have like six uh six point six all through so this is an example of this okay now let me do another 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 um a bigger a bigger division again so here if we have 12 we're dividing 12 uh or 144 144,880 divided by 12 so let's do this together can 12 go in one no it cannot can 12 go in 14 yes it can how many times one times and one times 12 we have a 12 here let's subtract this so we have 4 minus 2 which will give us what a 2 and this 1 minus 1 is a 0 so we'll drop down this 4 here okay 12 in uh, 24 would give us how many times that would give us uh, 2 times so we drop down at 2 okay and 2 times 24 uh, so 2 times 12 will be what 24 when we subtract this what are we going to have we're going to have a zero okay and we can drop our one here all right so when we have a zero we drop this one okay can 12 go in in one uh, it can't go in one okay and still we still have some numbers to drop so we put down what zero remember that okay and zero times 12 is still what zero so we'll put down the zero on that one one minus zero is what one and we drop down this next number which is what 18 can 12 go in 18 yes it can how many times just one time so we have one and one times 12 will give us what 12 let's subtract this so we have eight minus two which will give us what six and one minus one is zero okay just like saying 18 minus 12 which is what six and we have our final number here which is zero we drop down this what zero can 12 go in 60 yes it can go how many times five times and five times 12 is what 60 so and when we subtract this we have a remainder of what zero okay so you can see how we did this this is how you do division as easy as this so don't be scared um let's say you have um, this question you know they can bring out, out this question in the no calculator section so this is how you perform division all right thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video all right and don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he is the way he's the truth and is the life in him you find life everlasting life after death is in christ and in nothing else all right so and he is waiting for you he says come unto me all ye that are burdened and heavy laden and he shall give you rest okay and he says take up my yoke for it is light it is humble it is meek it is good okay so in him there's peace there's joy Come unto him. Give your life to Christ today. For Jesus Christ is coming soon. And for most from DTW GED prep, you are destined to win in getting your GED test. All right. Thank you.
for staying tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, give this video a thumbs up and share this video. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye.